Hello and welcome to Cine Crisis. I was definitely not expecting Paul Greengrass' News of the World to make as big an impact on me as it did when I first sat down to watch it. But with exceptional performances, very strong visual direction, and a true harrowing sense of adventure, my expectations were shattered and I found myself enjoying what I thought was one of the best movies of 2020. Tom Hanks plays Captain Jefferson Kyle Kidd, a Civil War veteran who roams from town to town, bringing the news of the world to local communities. On his journey, he comes across an abandoned young girl who was rescued from the Kiowa tribe and reluctantly agrees to transport her back to her family in southern Texas. But the perilous journey along the way brings many new challenges and dangers every step of the way. Alright, so what makes News of the World as good a movie as I'm making it out to be? Well, chief among those reasons is obviously Tom Hanks. News of the World's Captain Kidd is a character who I genuinely adored by the end of the film as altruistic and admirable. It would have been so much easier to create a morally ambiguous lead character to provide some kind of postmodern commentary, but instead it's actually refreshing to see a protagonist in a modern western who is a genuine hero with real principles and morals. Tom Hanks for sure though is a most unorthodox choice to play the hero of a western. He's not a sheriff, not a cowboy, not a rancher, nothing in the sort of traditional protagonist you would expect, and I think that aspect of his character and the choice of Hanks make this even more special. Instead, he reads the news. Because he's older, wiser, and more well-versed in the broader aspects of life in general, his sensibilities allow him to succeed as a character in much different ways. This is a man who has seen the brutality of war firsthand, and although tensions are still high in the country, wants to move forward and heal. He served in the Texas Infantry during the war and has lost pretty much everything of value to him along the way, but not his morals, not his values, and in the end, that proves to be what matters most. Additionally, the movie really captures the savagery and horrors of the time period in post-Civil War Reconstruction era Texas, and does a remarkable job of highlighting the dichotomy between Kidd and the slimy and sleazy characters he meets on his journey. Along those lines, one of the movie's key themes is to showcase man's propensity to hurt and destroy his fellow man, and only through the actions of the noble and the righteous can we move forward and progress as a society and people. The script for News of the World is very tightly knit, takes its time appropriately when it needs to, but can also deliver swift action at the same time. When it comes to the plot, it's quite worth noting that there's nothing completely new or innovative to this story. It's the execution and the characterizations and the struggle of the journey that makes News of the World excel beyond its standard plotline. In fact, most of the story here seems like what would have been standard fare on any classic TV western like Gunsmoke or Wanted Dead or Alive. I'm not exaggerating when I say I literally felt a palpable sense of dread and terror multiple times during News of the World. I thought it was just that riveting. The extraordinary circumstances that Hanks is put into for this movie through sheer accident and his perseverance to stay the course gives the movie such a true sense of exhilaration, more than most action-packed blockbusters I've seen recently. News of the World also does a spectacular job of showcasing the expansive and sweeping western landscape, which can be both beautiful and terrifying depending on the mood and intent of the filmmaker. The use of color saturations to express different emotions and feelings really help to enhance the overall scenery as well. And as important as Tom Hanks is to News of the World, equally important is the work of his co-star, 12-year-old Helena Zengel, who is absolutely fantastic in the movie, in really what is her debut film, having only appeared in some native German productions previously. Her performance is great because it's a role that's accomplished mostly through nonverbal acting, facial expressions, body language, and when she does speak, it's almost all non-English, which, as you would imagine, makes the job even more challenging. But Zengel's chemistry with Hanks and her ability to give such a captivating and charming performance makes her an invaluable asset to News of the World because the movie definitely would not work without her. News of the World was a completely unexpected delay and for sure one of the best movies of 2020. Its stories and characters are compelling, it has a strong visual ambiance, and an important message that is never made to feel like the movie is preaching to you. Paul Greengrass still proves he's one of the top directors working these days. It's good to see him expand his horizons and take on something a little different here than just another Jason Bourne film. It's such a refreshing and uplifting movie that combines classic Western themes and ideals with modern aesthetics to create a really fantastic movie that's both traditional and non-traditional at the same time. And for that, I give News of the World four stars out of four. If you like this review, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time.